Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around, I have some current and last gen video game pickups to show you guys. Uh, I got a couple of games here, but I'm going to start out with this here. Uh, I managed to find another Nintendo Power at, uh, the, sorry, at the Value Village I usually go to. Um, and sadly, it's nothing too old, but at least it has a good subject matter. Um, it's, actually, I wonder here, uh... Volume 219 from September 2007, uh, featuring uh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, Rayman Raving Rabbids 2, and Luminous Arc for the DS. Uh, and that was 99 cents. And I looked all through the magazine section. I looked through the reference book section just in case there were any Nintendo Power game guides there. But there wasn't anything else. But at least it also came with the poster. Uh, for the game still intact on the inside and in very good condition. So yeah, let's just put that off to the side. Um, let's see. Next up, I went to Video Game Center uh, in uh, downtown Toronto at Young and Bloor. I went in during a break from school and uh, just took a look around. I didn't have much money to spend well, I should say I didn't have much money I wanted to spend uh, that day on games because there were other things I needed to pay for. Uh, but I did find this for just $4.99, and I thought for $4.99 I could definitely uh, flip this for something else. And I don't usually like doing that, but uh, when, the, uh, when the pickings are slim, you pretty much have to do whatever you can to get uh, some new games in the collection. Um, it is a copy of Digimon World Dawn for the DS, just uh, cart only, and it's really hard to make that out, but it was just uh, $4.99 uh, for that on its own, and I thought for $4.99 I could definitely get maybe uh, maybe like 12 to $15 out of it, um, or at the end of the day probably just uh, take it into another store and get some credit. Uh, for that. Uh, next up, I actually got this a little while back. Uh, the story behind this is basically mm -hmm. that Target in Canada is closing, but uh, they still have a lot of stock. Uh, apparently, they're not getting any more uh, video games in stock. Uh, but they have so much crud just sitting there that hasn't been reduced yet. Uh, this game here was reduced uh, down to $12, uh, so I thought $12 is a decent enough price to get it at. It's Soul Sacrifice for the Vita, and that was brand new. Next up, another day at another uh, video game center location. This one here is at uh, approximately Danforth and Dawnlands in East York. I saw they had a sale on DS games. It was either 10 or 15% off, so like next to nothing considering that tax is 13%. Uh, but it's a game that I've been looking for a while to get. It is a Nintendo uh, first party game, and it's kind of uh, offbeat and different. Uh, there was another game there that I wanted to get as well, but the problem with that is that it was the wrong game inside the case and that really pissed me off that they had it like that uh, but whatever what can you do really uh, the game that I did get it was just four ninety nine, and I already replaced the case on it because the case that it was in was disgusting like it had some yellow goo on the back of it that I just I didn't want to deal with taking off at all uh, it's Fossil Fighters uh, the uh, first Fossil Fighters game on the DS. I also have, um, I can't take it out now, but I have Fossil Fighters Champion, Champions or Championship as well. Um, I'm not sure how the gameplay varies between this and the other one, but I'll have to compare them at another time. Uh, next up, I went to the Salvation Army I usually go to, and that day I had found absolutely nothing, and I had wasted a good two hours on not finding anything. 
So I felt kind of bad and I ended up just grabbing this game anyways. It was in a generic case, but at least it came with the artwork, the manual, and the game was in really good condition as well. It's Agatha Christie, Evil Under the Sun. It's a point-and-click kind of adventure game, but... I mean, I, I just, I don't really know about it. I like Agatha Christie books, but um, not too much of a fan of point-and-click games. It, it really depends on the subject matter, uh, so I'm hoping that, at least this being an, Ag an Agatha Christie uh, murder mystery, that uh, it will interest me enough. Uh, and yeah, the manual is just on the back there, and the disc itself, I don't quite remember, but I think it was in uh, pretty good condition, just uh, a few hairline scratches. And that one there, I paid four ninety nine for this uh, at this Salvation Army uh, original Xbox and Wii games are priced at four ninety nine, and uh, PS three games are usually priced at five ninety nine or more, and then PS two games vary from like two ninety nine uh, to like even more. I've seen some of them go for like eight ninety nine. Uh, but usually they're in the two ninety nine to four ninety nine range, so there's not much to complain about there. Now, for my most favorite find of uh, this sort of set of stuff that I've got over the last few weeks, I went to the Value Village for the first time in a couple of days. Really, um, it's been over a week, but I can't remember the exact amount of time that it's been. Uh, but I went back and they had rearranged the store. Uh, it was kind of weird, but it basically ended up pushing the uh, bookshelves and the uh, DVD shelves further away from the front door. And uh, it's kind of bothersome now, especially if I see other people uh, running for the DVD section when... Uh, the uh, employee is there shelving stuff, uh, first putting stuff out on the shelves, I should say. Uh, and I see people running straight for it. Now there's not much of an open room there to actually um, look around. You have to pretty much get in there right away and uh, grab whatever you're going to grab and get out uh, before it was in a sort of open space. Uh, but... I was looking through the shelves and I couldn't find anything really worth uh, worth mentioning. There were a whole bunch of sports games, a whole bunch of other random games that were priced way too high because now they started charging four ninety nine minimum uh, for all disc based games, which kind of sucks. But teach their own if they want to do that, they can go ahead and do that. Uh, but. I found this game here mixed in between a couple of, uh, what are they called, Baby Einstein or Little Einstein, uh, like children's DVDs, and those are in white cases, and this one was put in backwards, so I'm assuming other people thought that, hey, it's just one of those DVDs again, and there's no point in looking at it, but... I grabbed it because it bothered me seeing it backwards, and I go to flip it around, and I notice what it is, and I'm like, please don't be overpriced, and it was priced at just $5.99, which I think is a great deal for this game. I've been looking to get this for a really long time now, and I'm finally happy to be able to play it. It's Pokemon Battle Revolution, um, and it was missing the manual, but it did have the uh, Club Nintendo points with it. And I ended up getting 40 points out of it. And uh, the disc itself uh, has a whole bunch of fingerprints on it, uh, but just a few little light scratches. Uh, definitely not as bad as the other Wii games that I saw there the same day. Uh, they also had Other M priced at $7.99, and I thought that was just ridiculous, so I just let it sit there. Um, anyways, that's all I got. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out, sorry, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And, uh, that's it. See ya.